Planet Dolan. From ruined Russian palaces to dilapidated castles, we look at eight of the creepiest abandoned mansions. Hi there, my name is Doopy, and I'm here to tell you some really interesting things that you might not have heard before. Number eight. A German physician by the name of Dr. Claus Kraft worked out of the stately manor, or just kept an elaborate torture chamber for shits and giggles. We're not entirely sure. The terrifying medical equipment makes the doctor's home office look more like one of the Saw films. Most of the history of this place is a bit sketchy, but it seems like it's been abandoned for about 30 years. They even found some human organ tissue in jars that turned out to be kidney. Yum! Why was he collecting kidneys? Was he going to eat it with fava beans? We don't know. We just don't know. But we here at Plan and Dolan would like to think, in the blackest of our hearts, that he was. Number 7. Round Mansion in Western Belgium was abandoned by the family that lived there sometime in the 90s. What's weird is how untouched the place looks, besides the obvious dust and decay. Piles of clothes, paperwork, children's toys, and worn pairs of slippers are still scattered throughout the nine-bedroom mansion. A lot of expensive furniture is still there, like these people just got out of bed and left with only the clothes on their backs. Then again, when you've got this kind of wealth, maybe they headed for their summer home. Or were killed in some horrific yachting accident. Either way, it looks like the house from that Nicole Kidman movie. Number 6. In 1901, a fancy pants family named the Bannerman started building the Bannerman Castle on Palepal Island. The family made most of their fortune from buying up army surplus stuff and selling it. They bought the whole island and built the castle mostly to store their hoard of munitions that any doomsday prepper would be jealous of. Construction stopped in 1918 when the dude died, but just two years later, the whole place blew up because of all the artillery kept there. Then in 69, a fire ravaged the place. So not much of the floor or walls is left, mostly just the shell of the castle. It was bought up by the New York Parks and Rec Historical Society, proving that if something is dangerous and mostly useless, why not let the government own it? Number 5. The rotting Rothschild is sitting in ruin just outside of Notre Dame. You may know the Rothschild name from every conspiracy theory ever because they're one of the richest families of the past two centuries. The ruins of this once magnificent castle look like a set of twins might crop up at any second and ask you to play with them forever and ever. They abandoned the digs in the Second World War when they heard the Germans were coming. For a while, it was occupied by German forces, then by the Americans. By the time the 50s rolled around, neither the Rothschild family or anybody else wanted to hang out there. It's been uninhabited since then, but frequented by graffitiists of all sorts. Number 4. Another former doctor's office made its way into this list for being so spectacularly terrifying. This Belgian palace seems to have been abandoned mid-meal. There are jackets still draped over chairs and cups. Personal photographs and other personal effects were left behind. The surgery is filled with syringes and medical wares. It looks as though it was abandoned in the 80s. Whatever convinced the patrons of this palace to get the fuck out of town must have been at least half as scary as this place is now. Number 3. Just outside of Moscow, this creepy mansion was built sometime in the 1600s. This place is like if the White House had a baby with a coliseum and then became haunted by the ghosts of Soviet Christmas past. For 250 years, it was owned by a wealthy ass noble Russian family. It was big for entertaining and Tolstoy hung out there in the 1800s. Then after some name changes and redesigns, it became a popular summer resort before the Russian Revolution. After that, it became government property, then changed hands a bunch more times. Sometime in the 90s, it went from under construction to abandoned. But it'll always be known for having statues of muscly men with Twizzler baby legs. Number 2. If any mansion in this list was going to be haunted, it'd be this place, for sure. The lavish New York hotel went broke and became a girls' school, which after 50 years, then also went broke. So Bennett College has been abandoned since the 70s. Despite protests, it was recently announced that they'll be tearing down the old place. 
which I'm thankful for, to be honest. Now we can finally free the souls trapped there, like in the book version of The Shining. Sorry if you were planning on reading it. Actually, fuck you, it's been out for 40 years. You can't be protected from everything. Number one, what is with all of these creepy mansions in Belgium? Come to think of it, Chateau de Noisy looks haunted as fuck too. It was built in 1866 for a rich ass family. Then, after the Germans came, it was used as an orphanage, then as a hospital. As you can see, the place is ramshackle and falling apart. In 1991, the gothic-style castle was abandoned and taken over by ghosts I can only assume aren't as friendly as Casper. More like the ghostly trio that he hung out with that were apparently his uncles. Bunch of creeps. So guys, what's the scariest place you've ever been in? Let us know in the Reddit page link below and you might be featured in a future countdown. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. To give the impression of distress, so nobody thought Fisher was actually in peril when she started to drown for real when her chains tangled. There was a stunt diver with an emergency oxygen tank, but he was too far from the water tank.